Hi, I'm Cartha Gewert, and this is Santa's Little Helper. Tis the season, so today we are doing edible Christmas food art bentos. We were just putting out Christmas cookies for Santa, and Santa's Little Helper was like, why not bento? Why just cookies? Why just dessert? Why not lunch? Hmm? There's gonna be a lot of sugar in these lunches though, so um, watch out. <laughs> Reindeer sandwiches. Reindeer PB&J, come on. Who stores their peanut butter in this? Jif squeeze? Do I just cut a hole in the top? Oh, oh, I was gonna cut a hole in the top. You can open the bottom. Okay, here we go. This is the creamiest peanut butter I've ever seen, but you have to, uh, you have to really be strong to get this toothpaste style peanut butter out. Uh. Wow, it's really hard to get some work done as a mother in these conditions. We're gonna get a little bit freaky with this, but at the same time, we don't wanna get too freaky right away. You know what I mean? We just wanna, <sighs> we wanna have like the... Now, let's make our little reindeer. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Look at this cute, perfect little baby. Now, the only thing he's missing right now is some antlers. <laughs> and a face. Whoa. Okay, one of these eyes is not like the other. I'm gonna have to do magic fingers here. Magic fingers is not working. Okay, that's kind of working. Mm. Oh, look how cute. I know, you just can't stand it. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Look at, look at those shiny, beautiful eyeballs. They're glowing. There's a nose. I think I just ruined Christmas. Ah, there it is. Now I'm gonna poke. Uh-huh. I might even put a little like frosting inside just so like it's kind of like glue. Uh. That is so cute! Now you might be wondering, what's this guy missing, Kartha? He's missing antlers and a place to lie. Now this is going to be a reindeer themed bento. I'm gonna do a few with a few different themes. This one is reindeer. And I want a little bed for him to lay. So I'm gonna put this little cheese, tomato, cucumber mix on the bottom here so he has somewhere to just hang out, you know? Hang out with the boys. Somewhere to play his little reindeer games. He doesn't like that you're putting cheese and cucumber and tomato underneath a peanut butter and jam sandwich. He doesn't like that? No. Imagine like, here's, here's your lunch, sweetie. It's only this big. That's not gonna work, we need some bulk. And plus I like how the cucumbers are green and the tomatoes are red. It's very becoming. What about the salami? The salami is just kind of like, you know, it's just, it's Santa's salami. <laughs> Gross. What? Okay, so at first we had sausage in here, but I decided to take it out and replace it with olives just because these all look like little things that our little dear friend would snack on. And also I don't want like cross contamination. Like I don't want your PB and J to taste like sausages. It's just too strong, okay? So our little guy is gonna lay down here and then he's gonna have these little antlers. He's so cute. Get in there. Oh, whoa, he's got, his antlers are way too big for him. This first part was a little bit healthy for my taste. So I have this marshmallow on a stick. It's covered in like crushed up candy canes. I'm gonna take it off this stick. Yeah! Whoa. That's messy and pepperminty. I'm gonna cut it in half. Or should I cut it in half this way? I'm gonna cut it in half this way. Hey, get out of here. <clears throat> Ooh. Boy. I wanna make a really unhealthy sandwich because like this marshmallow on the inside is like very, very sticky. Take a Swiss roll. Look how cute these little things are. And then I'm gonna cut them a little bit and put them in the middle. Whoa, this chocolate? You shouldn't go back and forth with it. Oh, oh, I cut that perfect. This is the most unhealthy Christmas sandwich known to man. We're gonna shove it in. I wonder if I can fit it in here. Probably not, I have to fit it here. If that wasn't enough sugar, this little chocolate reindeer, that'll do. I'm gonna put it in here beside the reindeer friend. Oh, there's gotta be something else that can go right here. Buy some raspberries, hey? Make up for all the damage we're doing. I wanna do raspberries and like one more treat. 
gonna put a little a little bonbon a little bonbon in there oh and look at this little sweater ah! i could even write my mom note on that i need a marker sweetie baby you're never gonna be hungry look at this beautiful lunch oh it's gorgeous and look at this enjoy the sugar spike love mom <laughs> um. It's very cute, my little reindeer one. You wanna do a tree one next? Let's go. It's time for the tree bento. I'm gonna put this at the top of the bento, just looking beautiful. It's like, just so gorgeous, that lollipop. And we're gonna make little tree pizzas. Treatsa. Ugh. Ugh, treatsa is hard to make. It is so satisfying to cut out shapes. What do I do with this leftover bread? Oh, well, of course I eat it. No, I throw it out. Look at these gorgeous little trees. We're gonna sauce up the trees. When you order pizza, do you ever just like say so much extra sauce that it's exploding everywhere? I always feel like it's a little cheap. The way people treat my pizza sauce, I'm gonna make sure that my little golden son gets all of the pizza sauce they've ever wanted. I'll do one where I'm holding back a little bit trying to take care of myself and not my son. Trying to save on the pizza sauce rations for the kids. That cheese is uh, hard to control. <laughs> my cameraman is eating the cheese. I'm mad at him. Stop it! This is for my son. That's for Todrick Patrick. And now we're gonna have some veggies. They're gonna look like little ornies, like little ornaments. Like, I guess we're just gonna make a mess here because this is not going to plan. It's all just falling off the pizza. Give me this pizza. Let it get in the oven. Make it look tasty. Now I'm gonna go throw these in the oven. What does this look like? Maybe a bush? No, it's a tree. I'm gonna cut it so it looks like a tree. You ever just like have a hard time? No. I'm just having a hard time right now. Everything in life is easy for me. Yeah, no, I can tell. Mr. Man, just wake up and go, here I go. No, you forgot the part. <laughs> needs a tip. What do you mean he needs a tip? Like trees have a point. Yeah. I'm gonna put something on the point. Oh. You're missing the point. Every so often you make a little tree for your kid. And your kid's like, my mom is so stupid. Look at that. Have you ever seen such a beautiful tree? In your loin? I mean, maybe in the wilderness. You don't like my tree? I think it's quite delectable, this tree. You sound like you're getting angry. I am. <laughs> it's cute. And then we're gonna put some little goji berries on it as little tree ornaments. I'm gonna grab this like little Christmas tree cake. Imagine being a kid and being like, oh, my mom got me one of these, these Christmas tree cakes. Golly, I'm excited to eat that. Yeah, it won't even fit. Okay, I'm cutting a star, Ugh, a four point star. It's harder than I thought. <laughs> Very hard. Very hard to do. Okay. You failed Squid Game. I just think that a four point star will like stick on the uh, the old toothpick easier than a five point star. But my son's gonna be like, mom's been going crazy with her cutting again. And she does a terrible job. This is the shoe, this is the star of Shooby Dooby. Look at that. That's just not it right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the star of Shooby Dooby. She do be trying. <laughs> <laughs> None of the trees fit in the box. I know, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I mean, they can fit, but then I'm gonna lose the aesthetics. Like I'm gonna make the box so you know what's going in it, and then I'm gonna shove it all in. Shooby dooby. Because we have pizza, I'm gonna put ranch in this middle thing. Yummy dummy. Shooby, frick. I hate this. Look at that. No. Ew. Now I'm gonna take these little Christmas tree cookies. Heat them up. Make them look cute. Put them in a cup. I don't know why, but green frosting, yum. It just is so appetizing to me. So delightful, so delightfully edible. My mom used to know when I was a young tyke, 
If you want Kartha to come eat, for Lord's sake, put me some green frosting. You know what annoys me about Christmas carols? There, that one line that's like, he knows when you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. It's like you've been threatening me for a half hour, and now you're saying be good for goodness sake? Like you're essentially saying, this guy's watching you all the time, so you better be good for him. But we're gonna say be good for goodness sake so that the lyrics aren't controversial. They are controversial to me. Nothing gets past Kartha Gewert. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so skilled at icing things, it's because I'm Kartha Gewert. I'm a chef. If you're wondering why this, <laughs> this is horrible, but for some reason you like it, it's because I'm Kartha Gewert. And that's just what it's like in this political economy society. Or another thing I could do is I could like, Sprinkle it. You want me to sprinkle it? Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle two. So that we can have like a pink and green or like a red and green. But these will be the ones that like don't mess everything up. Whoa. Yep, that's a lot of, that's a lot of sprinkles. I just really want it to stick on this outer edge and it's not, <laughs> okay. <gasps> that's nice. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of nice, you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, getting these in here, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> you only get one. So. No, you, you can, but I'm gonna like use the other ones to push it down. That's why like a sugar one has to be on the bottom. And then this one. Oh, that icing is so tasty. I'm Yum. Gonna, what happens to that one? Okay, you're not supposed to draw attention to my flaws. Are you just gonna eat it? Yes. The pizza's done! Aren't they the cutest little things? I also made like a regular pizza that I cut out after and that's how that turned out. I feel like the pre-made ones, like you can tell what they are a little bit better. So I'm gonna use these. And they're also a little bit more crunchy. You got your pizza, your tree pizzas, your ranch dip, your tree cookies, your tree, I mean, some would call that a tree. Your tree cake, and then your tree lolly. This is the tree bento. It's a mess. Okay, time to cram everything in here. <laughs> Look at the beautiful thing. And then, eh. Actually, this fit, I mean, the star is gonna have to go here, but this fit a lot better than I thought. Okay, the, the peas are, you know, it's not ideal. Just duct tape it to the side. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can like just put it on top. Okay. It closes, oh wait. <clears throat> Close you. Okay. It closes. Ready for lunch, sweetie? Little pizza? Lollipop? Let's do the next one. This next one is a more savory option that I would actually eat the rest of them. I feel like they were way too sweet. The first thing we're gonna do is a gnome sandwich. I got this idea from the family fudge, but I like the way it seems, all right? We got, got our mayonnaise. How adorable, how becoming, how sweet. Oh dear. Oh, slice of cheese. If you don't like mayonnaise on a sandwich, girl, what you doing? We're gonna put some of these, uh, Salami, we're gonna close her up. Uh. And then we're gonna cut it in a triangle. Ugh. Yes, yes. We don't need to cut the crust off the bottom just because, well, you'll see. Taking another salamo and I'm gonna put it, like I'm gonna try to line it up with the triangle, give her a cut. And then I'm putting it on the top. I'm gonna actually like kind of glue it on a little with some mayo. There we go, that's actually staying now. I'm gonna put some cheese on the bottom, cut it the same way. And then with this bottom part here, we're gonna cut like a little beard. It's gonna be pretty cute. Like, you know those Christmas gnomes? Those little pointy guys that a lot of people have and the hats are so big, it covers the eyes, and they just have like this big, cute nose. I don't know about you, that was a pretty iconic thing where I grew up. I'm gonna put this beard here. So I'm gonna take some extra bread that we didn't use, and I'm gonna roll it up into a ball. Eh. That's a lot of fallout below me. Holy God, okay, this didn't roll up as easy as I thought it would. I'm gonna press it together, actually. Eh. Because we need a nose. And then I'm going to fasten this nose on with mayo. Look at him! He's Cute. He's adorable. Look how cute he is. He's just here for the summer. Oh, your beard is long, Mr. Gnome. It's super long. Okay, this is a good sized sandwich. Now I'm gonna put these little, these are cheese stuffed cherry tomatoes. Look, he's hanging out with his little tomato friends. They're gonna hang out on this side. Very cute and becoming. 
Oh, these are blue cheese stuffed. Oh my goodness. See, this is my kind of treat. Like, I'm not into the whole like sugar thing. I'm into the, you know, the cheese stuffed charcuterie. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yum. I have these really cute corn chips. They're like red and green. And I was like, what can I do with these here corn chips? <laughs> Never open them. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh dear. I've ripped a very unfortunate hole in the bag. Look right here. This is beet hummus, okay? This is gonna be like a little bit of a Mediterranean vibe, this beet hummus, to dip our little corn chips in. Oh, this is exactly my kind of lunch. I just know this is gonna be, this is gonna end up being the ugliest Christmas lunch, but it's gonna be the one that just really speaks to my heart. Okay, so that's gonna go here, but I'm gonna make sure I put like, some chippies. Oh, look how cute these are. Look how cute that is. And then the hummus on the side. Oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> You've truly outdone yourself. We're whipping up the Greek yogurt. I know. This is like, oops, I accidentally got some on the chip. But this is like that Greece lunch that I had that one time and I was like freaking out and gave it five stars. This is just truly undeniable, made with love, made with true conviction and power. We're gonna add little hearts on bananas just to truly make it a special moment. We have to truly just make this a special holiday season, the kind of holiday season that you'll always remember with your friends laughing and your mom calling you for dinner. Oh, gorgeous. You want Christmas? Here. It's beautiful, it's the best one. That sandwich, oh my goodness. Sometimes all you need in life is meat, cheese, and mayo, and stuffed cherry tomatoes. Mm. Well guys, there you have it, there she blows. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. And I, Kartha Gewert, and my little Santa's little helper, will see you on the next one, bye. Oh, that's drool. Ugh.